Hello, this is a tutorial on making enemies shoot you on iOS 2.2. I have here a cowboy with his revolver, a huge invisible bullet. It's just a cone painted gray. Well, at this point, is it is pretty bigger than a normal bullet. Just for the purpose of testing and seeing it clearly during the tests, we can resize it later. At this point, the revolver is available to the cowboy's right arm. And the bullet is vehicle to. Actually, the bullet is not vehicle to anything. We just have a dummy right in front of the gun, just on the tip right here, so that our bullet can return to this exact place, to this dummy, after being shot. Also, we have another dummy. I moved the camera a little bit down, dropped the dummy at camera, moved it back up, and I, yeah, right, Alice. Okay, and I renamed that dummy to player, and I set it to vehicle to camera, so it will move around with me. And the player is the camera, as you can see here, it moves around. I don't know what this is. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oops. Anyway, so we have this setup. And this is our method, that's actually the shooting, the shooting method. And I'm gonna recreate it in this enemies are could shoot method. As you can see here, the method that is actually doing the work should be should start when the world starts. I'm gonna just recreate it for you. Okay, so we have a loop infinite times an if statement in that loop. And that if statement is cowboy functions if the cowboy is within x meters, I'm putting 10 right now, of camera. So if the camera is 10 meters or more or closer to the cowboy, then first of all, we want the cowboy to point not at the camera but I believe at the dummy named player yeah well the duration of that is up to you the duration of everything is up to you I'm just putting some values here so we can test it after that we want to do together first of all we want to select the right arm of the cowboy just to make it look better and turn it backward by I think I put 0.1 revolutions let me just check that yeah in a duration of I don't know 0.2 seconds and together with that we want to do something, some things, but do them in order. First of all, of course, set our bullet's opacity to visible. Really fast. We don't want that to take time. Then we want the bullet to move toward the camera. 
I don't know how much meters you want. I put 2.5 so in order for the bullet to actually hit you you will have to be really close or else it would be too difficult for the player to avoid being shot. Um, okay, move we'll toward camera 2.5 meters. Well, I'm gonna set the duration to that. I'm just gonna leave it one second so we can see the bullet coming. You should change that to something smaller. Oops. Then we want the bullet to become invisible again really fast. And we want it to move back to bullet return, the dummy just right in front of our gun, so it can be shot again next time, and really fast also. After that, we want to make a copy of this statement outside of the do together, and, oh, sorry, of this statement. move forward so his hand will go back to the way it was again this is the one this is the function the method that will run this is just me recreating it so you know how I did it and let's play you see the bullet is coming 2.5 meters and then goes back yeah, if you go really close to the cowboy, it's gonna get scared. He has to point at the camera, so it's kind of weird. And I guess that's all.